Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can change your car into a complete futuristic spaceship. Yes, that's exactly what we are going to do because we are going to be installing the ambient lighting in our cars and once you install this type of lighting you will get a different feel, you will get a unique feel of your car and surely you will feel you are sitting in a completely new spaceship. Well, let's just go ahead and show you how exactly you can do that. But before we go ahead, I would like to remind you that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, it's about time you went ahead and hit that subscribe button and also like this video because this travel tech episode is going to be extremely special and this is going to change the way you look at your car forever. So let's just go ahead and show you what exactly are the things which you need in order to create this ambient lighting effect in your car, how you can source the power of the car battery for this purpose and how you can basically install this ambient lighting into your car. So let's just go ahead and let's get started. So guys, before I go ahead and begin showing you how you can install this ambient lighting, I need to show you what are the basic things which you need in order to complete this setup. So the first and foremost thing which you need is this wire called as the EL wire. So this is an electroluminescence wire and currently this is in a blue color. And the second most important thing which you need is this power adapter. Now I have made a detailed video regarding this power adapter in the last week on the Travel Tech channel. So you can go ahead and check that out for the detailed review of this power adapter. So the first and foremost important thing which I wanted to mention to you is this EL wire and it comes in various different lengths and various different colors. So also the good thing about this EL wire is that this wire comes in a blue color tip right here. So this is the luminescent part and this is the flap part of it which you can insert it inside the rubber cladding of the door. Yes, that's how it gets fitted inside the door, inside the rubber seal of the door or the window cladding wherever you want to put it. The straight line which you're seeing on the right edge that is the luminescent part and this is the fiber part or a plastic part which gets inserted inside the rubber cladding. So this is the EL wire and the good thing about this EL wire is that you can cut it to whichever length you want and you can put this cap uh, to the point where you have cut it because it might give you a short tingle if you touch the edge of the wire while it is on. So you can cut it to various lengths and uh, here is the power socket adapter of this EL wire. So you need this power socket adapter in order to place it into this power adapter like this. So once you place this into the power adapter it is going to get powered up and because this power adapter has two sockets so each socket can be used for each one side of the door one on the driver side and one on the passenger side so these two sockets come in handy for that purpose and the good thing about this power adapter is that it has got individual power switches so as you're seeing on the screen right now this is a power switch and this is a power switch so these two power switches control the power socket so you can turn it off and turn it on whenever you want and it gives you a greater control over the flow of electricity or the flow of the battery power towards the EL wire. So EL wire also consists a regulator which regulates the current which is going into the EL wire. So this gets placed below the chair so nobody is ever going to notice this and it is going to stay hidden. So these are the two basic things which you need. The EL wire of various colors and different lengths whichever it is according to your preference and this power adapter. Now it is not mandatory that you need to get this power adapter because if you already have two power outlets in your car you can use them but the problem with that is the wire does not get concealed and it will be visible outside and it doesn't give a clean look and a proper finishing look but if you get this power adapter you can power up both the EL wires using the same socket and that gives you a more proper finished look and it conceals the entire setup so nobody else is going to recognize or see the wire anywhere and you're, they are just going to see the lit up EL wire. So these are the two basic things which you need in order to get the thing started. So I have given a link in the description below in order to buy both of these. So just go ahead and check it out. So now let's just go ahead and begin with showing you how you can actually install this EL wire or the ambient lighting wire and get the setup started in your car. So guys, the first thing which you need to do in order to get the ambient lighting setup is take this power adapter and place it inside the handrest storage area, just the way which I'm showing you right now. Now, this is my Honda WRV and this does get a handrest storage area below and it's quite a big box. And as you can see, the power adapter fits in perfectly well and there is a lot of extra space for it to even move around. So once you put it inside the handrest storage area, you just need to take this adapter and plug it into the power socket of or the default power socket which has been provided into the storage area. So once you plug it in, the most of the work is done. The power adapter is now ready to receive the power sockets of the EL wire just the way it is right now. So this is the driver side EL wire socket. So once you take this, you just need to plug it in inside the power socket like this and you can press this switch in order to turn it off and on. And in a similar way, the passenger side power socket is going to come from this side. 
so this storage area is what basically makes it completely concealed and makes the entire wire setup hidden and also provides power to the el wire using the car battery and because it has individual switches you can turn it off and turn it on whenever you want and that gives you a greater control over the power supply towards the el wire so in case in your car you don't get the storage compartment you can either keep it in the cup holder in the area of the front part or whichever way you find it comfortable but in the honda wrv this is a perfect place for keeping this power adapter and this is going to help you conceal all the wires conceal the power unit and only the el wire or the ambient wire lighting will be visible so let's just go ahead and close this off for now so let's now bring the el wire in order for the installation so guys here is the el wire which i just showed you just now so this is the el wire which you are going to get once you order it online so once you get it the first thing which you need to do in order to install this el wire is just put the el wire on the ground floor on whichever side you want to install it so once you put it on the ground floor just take up this socket in your hand and what you need to do is just bend down and uh, right now i am going to show you an example through the passenger seat so if you just bend down into the passenger seat as you can see there is a small space going between the seat and the floor mat of the area so what you need to do is you need to take this socket and put it below the seat area so above the floor mat and push it inside as far as possible so that it goes ahead and touches the armrest area well basically we cannot insert our hands to the entire length of the armrest so what you need to do is just place it inside then go ahead open up the rear door of the honda wrv and uh, just bend down right here so as you can see here is the adapter hanging in here what you need to do next is just go ahead and take this below the seat area right here so once you have taken this out just bring it out from the back side of the seat just like the way which i am going to show you right now so as you can see it just came out this way i just need to pass it inside and once you have taken it out here just pull it slightly so that you get a bit of a wire outside so once this is done your your halfway work is done and what you do you need to do next is just push it up through here and place it from below firmly between the armrest and the chair so as you can see it is hanging down right there right now so what you need to do next is just go back towards the front passenger seat so let's just go ahead and towards the front passenger seat and let's try to spot the adapter which is just placed so here is the adapter right now as you can see so i'm just going to put my hand from the top here and hold the adapter so now i'm holding the adapter in my hand and i'm just going to slightly pull it inside so there you go the adapter has come out and here is the wire adapter now so this is how you can insert the power adapter or the el wire adapter below the chair take it towards the back and pull it out from the front so once you have this el wire power adapter in your hand half of the work is done what you need to do next is uh, remove your side armrest cover take this power adapter and insert it inside the dual power sockets right here and once you place it in voila that's the work done you need not do anything else much more right now so just align the wire towards the back of the seat and close the armrest and there you go so you can conceal this wire by inserting it behind or putting a cello tape right here so that it gets completely concealed off and no one will be able to identify any any sort of a wire running outside so that is one work important work done so right now as you can see here is the wire which is hanging out of the el wire so as you just saw we just inserted the power adapter and here is the rest of the wire which is hanging out so how you need to install this el wire well this is the way i'm going to show you right now so you just need to conceal this black portion of the wire inside and take the starting of the wire to whichever point you feel comfortable i usually consider this marking line as a starting point and of course you can also take it towards the back but it is going to pull up the wire a bit so here you can actually start from the back of the doorway or you can start from the front well i basically consider this lining as a starting point because it's easier to identify you can also start from the back as well if you are interested so right now let me just go ahead and start from the back itself you have to insert this el wire padding or the thin cladding of the el wire into the rubber socket or into the rubber sill of the door socket you might need a small instrument or you might need a nail in order to prick this up a little bit but once it goes inside it is going to be very easy and so as you're seeing right now it just fit inside and the next thing is you just need to follow the line and insert the wire casually and carefully and as you're seeing the line is being inserted into the rubber cladding of the door so it's get sealed in perfectly well there is no damage to the car there is no harm to the car and you don't need to cut anything or tear anything in order to insert this wire and if you are seeing right now i am placing it carefully inside this might take a bit of a time it may take about 5 to 10 minutes for you to do this but the end result is going to be really amazing 
so guys i am just going to go ahead and keep on inserting this wire inside so i guess you might have got an idea right now how you can exactly use this or how you can exactly insert this wire so as you're seeing right now it has formed a proper straight line on right below the floor mat or the floor sill of the door so i'm just going to go ahead and keep it inserting into the rubber cladding of the door so once the insertion is finished it is going to look really nice and look awesome just the way which i had shown you in the trailer so let's just fast forward and see how it looks once the entire wire is inserted well so you guys just saw how i inserted the wire right down here so now i'm going to show you the entire length of the wire and how you need to insert it so this is the rubber seal and you need to insert it inside this so as you can see there is a small padding of the el wire which you need to insert inside into the rubber cladding of the door and once you put it in it's not going to come out easily it is going to stay fit and it will come out only if you manually pull it out and because of this there is no damage to the rubber seal as well no damage to the wire and no damage to any part of the car so here is the entire length of the wire which i'm going to show you so this is the way you need to insert it into the rubber cladding of the door so this is the way you need to insert it and here goes the line the entire length of the line will be visible once it lights up and it is going to look really amazing and futuristic once this gets done so this is the way guys this is how you need to install it into the rubber cladding of the car and i guess i hope you are still seeing the wire this is the entire length of the wire which has been inserted into the rubber cladding there is a proper curve here so you need to make sure that you insert the wire properly here and once you have inserted it right down below till here it is going to stop there so based on the length of the wire it is going to extend or stop and one more thing which i needed to tell you that in case you have an extra length of the wire with you and the your wire is not ending at this part you can actually continue putting up the wire in this line so there is a small gap between these two parts here so you can insert the cladding in this line continue it here and then follow it up on the rear windows rubber cladding so that it follows the contour of the rear cladding all the way towards the back of the window so if you have an extra length of the wire you can actually do that so once you have done that your most of the work is done and your power adapter is fit in your wire is fit in the next thing which you need to do is test out the wire so once the wire has been inserted when the next thing which we need to do is actually test the wire if it is working or not so in order to test the wire we need to turn on the accessory part of the car so once the accessory part of the car is turned on i need to open up the side armrest storage compartment so as you are seeing the power adapter is up and running and the, also the good thing about this power adapter is that both these power sockets have got two individual switches so you can uh, manually control the switches so you can manually turn it on or turn it off both the el wires whichever way you want so right now let's just go ahead and turn this el wire on so i have just turned it on so in order to see if it's working or not well it's quite bright right now and we may not be able to actually appreciate uh, if the wire is working or not but let's just but let's just see and try it out i'm not sure if you guys can see but the wire is lit up and as you're seeing right now uh, because it's a dark area here you are seeing the light being lit up so let me just go ahead and turn off the switch just to show you guys the difference how it makes so this is the switch for the power socket and if i just click on the click off the power socket well there you go the light has gone away and it is completely switched off so if i just power it back on if using the power adapter switch now i just turned it on and there you go the wire is lit up nicely so right now it is quite bright outside so you are not able to appreciate this part of the lining but the wire is working and it is completely lit up and this is the part and it's lit up till the back area of the part of the a door seal from where i started inserting the wire and the entire wire is lit up as you're seeing on the screen right now so guys this is just one power socket inserted off the passenger side so i have got the power socket of the driver side of the el wire so let's just go ahead and insert it into the second power socket of this power adapter so i have inserted it right now so let's just go ahead and turn it on so here is the switch i am just going to turn it on the power line of the driver side is also working and if you can appreciate right here so this is the el wire up and running and it's glowing very nicely the upper part is not visible because it's bright outside but you can appreciate down here the el wire lining is working perfectly well and it is working on both the sides right now so this is the way you need to power up the el wire using this power adapter using these two sockets and both of these have individual switches so whenever you turn on the car you can turn this off and once the car is turned on you can manually turn on the switch whenever you want and you can manually turn it off whenever you want uh, there is no need to worry that it's going to drain the car batteries that is the purpose that is the exact reason why you need to get this power adapter because if you plug it in directly into the power socket it is going to power it up immediately without giving you an option to manually turn it off or on but if you are comfortable with that well that's your preference but i prefer to have a manual control over these things 
so if you have a manual switch you can turn it off or on whenever you want and if you haven't seen this power adapters video review video i just recommend you to go ahead and visit my channel i have made a detailed video regarding this power adapter so you can go ahead and check that out and find out more about it and of course if you want to buy this i am going to give you a link in the description below so guys i just explained in detail to you how you can fix this el wire fix this ambient lighting in your car and i actually demonstrated to you how you can actually put it in how you can power it up using the power adapter and also save the car battery and of course the way it is going to look at night you are going to get your mind blown away once you fix this in your car and i definitely assure you of that and of course this is extremely customizable that means you can also extend it to the rear passenger seat you can extend it towards the boot area so wherever you feel comfortable and if you have got the enough wire length you can actually wire it up even in the boot part of the section also so we can power it up using the power adapter and you can light to the boot up part also so that base that is based on your preference so i have currently put it up on both the driver side and the passenger side of my car and previously i had also put it in the rear passenger side as well but because due to some problems i had to remove it and now currently i am using it on the both front side of part of my car so you can use the same method or you can also extend it to whichever length or whichever part you want of your car and of course i can assure you once you start looking at it you are going to like the wire a much more lot and i think you are going to extend it to entire parts of your car because that is going to give uh, your car a real royal look a real futuristic spaceship look which i was talking about earlier so this is the method guys this is the way you need to do this and one more thing which i need to tell you is that whenever you give your car for a service or a car wash i advise you to remove this el wire and remove the power socket adapter before giving it to a water wash or the car service of your showroom or the service center because they might damage it or try to remove it by themselves or it might get damaged due to some other purposes so if you are giving your car for a wash or if you are giving it for the service center for your regular checkup or the regular service make sure you remove this el wire setup remove this ambient lighting setup before giving in your car and once the car is back you can put it back again and it's going to stay there as long as you want it to be so this is the method guys this is the way you need to get this done and i hope you like this video and i hope you like the effort which has gone behind in making this video and if you did like the effort make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like this video because that is going to help me a lot and i will understand that you guys are liking and loving my work too so guys if you are interested in getting this ambient lighting setup in your car i am going to give you a link in the description of this video both to buy the el wire of different colors and of different tints and of course also to buy the power adapter which you need in order to power up this el wire setup and i strongly recommend you to go ahead and buy this power adapter because that is going to provide a proper neat and concealed look and of course it is also going to give you a manual control over the el wire there is a manual on off switch for each of those power sockets and that's a very advantageous thing and that's a very good thing in order to save the battery power of the car but if you are not interested in getting that power adapter and you want to power it up with the default power sockets of the car well that is your choice i am not going to stop you there uh, so you can go ahead and buy all of these wires and the power adapters by looking into the description of this video and the links are right on top of the description so this is travel tech signing off and i hope you have a really nice day